Welcome to Church Media Production, I'm Andrew, and today we're going to go over how to make a simple bar transition using the Alpha Track mats instead of After Effects, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is make a new composition, you can call it whatever you want to call it, we're just going to call this bars, and we'll leave the time at a minute, we'll leave it at 1080p, because that's fine, you can make it of course, whatever size you want to be, whatever frame rate you want to be, that doesn't really matter. And then once we get in there, we're going to want to grab the box tool. We're going to want to make a couple boxes. So let's just start with one about that size. Go down here, click on the grid and options, turn on title action safe so we can find the center of the composition. We'll put that one about center. And then we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this one. And we'll go into the position and we'll adjust the height down to where they just overlap. It might be handy to zoom in and kind of make sure that it is indeed touching because sometimes when you're far away, it doesn't quite look like they're touching even though they are. So once you get those two, then go ahead and highlight the two and then do the same thing again. Then do the position and move that down and Will it covers the entire screen. I'll go ahead and do those middle two again and do the top of the screen the same way. Do position, but we'll go the other way this time. You can make the boxes as thin as you would like, but for the sake of time, I'm going to just make them a little bit bigger like I did. But the smaller they are, the more cuts you'll be able to see. Same thing in this one here. We'll copy and paste that one and I'll move that one up. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and order these a little bit so that they make sense for what we're doing. This just helps with when you go to actually animate them. It helps you keep, or at least it helps me keep it in a order that makes sense. So you know which side is the top and which side is the bottom. So now that we got them all in order, what we can do is we can set our in and out points. So we're going to want the in to be where it's all covered. So we'll just go 10 frames out. On the Mac I'm holding command and using the arrow key to move out. Uh, windows should be control, the same thing. And we can go ahead and zoom in over here. And then we will highlight all of these. So I'll Push P for position, hit the stopwatch, it'll set a keyframe for every single one. And then we can go ahead and move it back to the beginning. And then this is where you can move it wherever you're going to want your animation to go. So I'm just going to go off to the right here. I'll go out a little bit. So then we'll they'll all come in at the same time currently, but we can change that. So this is where ordering it came in handy, so we'll go one, two, three, four four in and then we'll have the next one start then one two three four and we'll do the same thing for that one we'll do the same thing for every single one and this is where time wise it could take a little bit depending on how many of these bars you have Okay, so then if you watch it, it'll kind of come in all fancy-like. Then if you want to, you can toggle switches slash modes, turn motion blur on for everything, and then turn motion blur on for the composition, and then it will kind of blur it all just ever so slightly. The next step will be to highlight all the layers, and we are going to right-click, pre-compose, make sure you have move all attributes into new composition, and then you can go ahead and adjust the composition so it matches with exactly what everything is. We'll call this bar move. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and drag, our, drag the logo in for church media productions. We're gonna put that at the bottom layer. And this is a giant layer, so we're gonna go ahead and scale this down so it's about however big. And then what you will wanna do to make this work is go ahead and toggle switches and modes again. And then you want this track mat, you're gonna to wanna to change this to alpha mat. So then when you play this out, you can see how it swipes them in. 
And then of course, if you have smaller, it'll be smaller bars that are transitioning this in. Or if you want big bars. And then this will work with video footage or anything that you have inside of After Effects. And it's just a nice little way to, rather than having it fade in, you can have it kind of swipe in. If you want to give this a little more animation as well, go ahead and let's go back out 10 frames. And we'll go into the logo here. We'll do the position. So we're out 10 frames. We got the original position. We're going to move that out a couple more frames. And then we're going to move this off to the right. And then we're going to change the scale. I'm going to hit the scale. I'm going to push U so then you can see everything active on that layer. So we can match that one up to the same. And we'll go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger. And then you can see here that the position is obviously off a little bit now. So we'll go ahead and move that back over. And then we're going to toggle back over here, make sure motion blur is on. And then when we play it, a little, a little more motion there, so that way it's kind of thrown it in there a little more, as you can see. And the motion blur just helps, helps it so you don't see all the edges quite as well. It's just a nice, nice little transition. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give us a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, followed by the little bell icon, and we will see you next time.